Human Digestive System Part 1 Dear students, As living organisms perform various functions to maintain their life, to perform these functions, energy is required. They get this energy from outside the body in form of food or nutrition. Come, let us learn more about nutrition in animals. The food have various complex components like carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, proteins and minerals in it. So, it is necessary to break down these complex components into smaller ones. The process of nutrition involves the taking of food inside the body and converting it into smaller molecules which can be absorbed by the body. Different animals have different ways to take in food like butterflies and bees suck the nectar of flowers. Other animals also suck the blood of their prey like spider, scorpion. Reptiles swallow their prey. Aquatic animals filter their food particles from flowing water. Babies of various mammals feed upon mother's milk. Adult mammals eat whole food and then chew it by teeth. The Buccal Cavity Dear students, as we were discussing earlier that in human beings Nutrition takes place through human digestive system. The first organ of human digestive system is mouth. Come, let us learn more about the buccal cavity. Mouth is a transverse aperture bounded by movable lips. Its main function is ingestion. Buccal cavity is the second organ of human digestive system. Buccal cavity has two main structures in it. Tongue Teeth Salivary glands Tongue is a thick, muscular and protrusible structure present on floor of buccal cavity. Teeth are present in both jaws of human beings. Teeth are embedded in the sockets of jaw bones. In adult man, there are 32 teeth, 16 in each jaw. Teeth are of four types. Incisors, canine, Premolars, molars. Incisors are four in each jaw. They are sharp and chisel shaped and are for biting and cutting of vegetable food. Canine are two in each jaw. They are sharp and dagger shaped and are for tearing animal food. Premolars are four in each jaw. They are broad and cusp-shaped and are for chewing and grinding. Molars are six in each jaw. They are broad and cusp-shaped and are for chewing and grinding. Dental caries or tooth decay causes gradual softening of enamel and Dentine 
the salivary glands and the tongue. Dear students, as we were discussing that human digestive system starts with mouth and buccal cavity and buccal cavity has tongue, teeth and salivary glands in it. Come, let us learn more about salivary glands and tongue. There are three pairs of salivary glands in human. Sublingual gland Submaxillary gland Parotid gland These secrete saliva which contains a digestive enzyme the ptyalin or salivary amylase. Salivary ducts open in buccal cavity. To the floor of buccal cavity, a fleshy muscular organ called tongue is attached at the back. It is free from front and is movable in all the directions. Tongue helps in swallowing food. Tongue mixes saliva with the food during chewing. It helps in tasting food as taste buds are present on tongue. Process of Digestion The Esophagus Dear students, now the swallowed food is passed into food pipe or esophagus. Come, let us learn more about the process of digestion in esophagus. Esophagus is long, narrow and tubular part of digestive system. It passes through neck and pharynx and opens in stomach. Esophagus conducts the food down by peristalsis. This movement takes place in complete elementary canal and as a result food is pushed downwards. When food is not accepted by stomach, then this movement reverses and start going upwards as a result food comes out from mouth which is called vomiting process of digestion stomach dear students we were discussing that from the esophagus, food is pushed down towards stomach. Come, let us learn more about stomach. Stomach is a thick, muscular and J-shaped sac present on the left side of upper abdomen. Stomach helps in mechanical churning and chemical digestion of food. The food is churned in stomach for about 3 hours due to which the food break down into smaller pieces and forms a semi-solid paste. The stomach wall contains 3 tubular glands in its walls which secrete gastric juices. The gastric juices contain 3 substances hydrochloric acid, enzyme pepsin and mucus. Due to presence of hydrochloric acid, enzyme pepsin is acidic in nature and starts digestion of proteins. 
the mucus helps to protect the stomach wall from its own secretion of hydrochloric acid. The muscular wall of stomach helps in mixing of food and gastric juices. The exit of food from stomach is regulated by sphincter muscles which releases it in small amounts into the small intestine. Process of Digestion The Small Intestine Dear students, after stomach, food is passed to small intestine. Come, let us learn more about the small intestine. Small intestine is the largest part of elementary canal. It is about 6.5 meters long in an adult man. It is called small intestine because it is very narrow. Small intestine is divided into duodenum, jejunum, ileum. Small intestine is site of complete digestion of food and also the absorption of food. It receives the secretion of two glands, liver and pancreas. Liver secretes bile, which is greenish-yellow liquid, alkaline and contains salts, which help to emulsify or break the fats. So, acidic food which comes from stomach is changed to alkaline by bile and fat is also broken into small globules. Pancreas secrete pancreatic juices like amylase, trypsin and lipase. Amylase breaks down the starch while trypsin digests the proteins. Lipase breaks down emulsified fats. Process of Digestion The Large Intestine Dear students, after small intestine, food is passed to large intestine. Come, let us learn more about large intestine. Large intestine is shorter and wider than small intestine. It is divided into colon and rectum. It helps in formation and temporary storage of feces. The colon is the last part of the digestive system in most vertebrates. It extracts water and salt from solid wastes before they are eliminated from the body. Rectum is the last 6 to 8 inches of the large intestine. The rectum stores solid waste until it leaves the body through the anus. Anus lies at the base of trunk and is for ingestion of waste products of digestive system. Cecum Dear students, as we have already discussed that large intestine is made up of three parts, cecum, colon and rectum. Come, let us learn more about cecum. Cecum is a small pouch-like structure. 
cecum ends into tubular structure called vermiform appendix. Both cecum and vermiform appendix are vestigial in function as these are not involved in cellulose digestion. Cecum is large and spacious and functions as a storage organ in herbivores where cellulose digestion takes place. Sometimes due to decay of food or worm infection, the vermiform appendix gets infected and causes a disease called appendicitis. Symptoms of appendicitis are pain and inflammation.